Hi, this is Andrew again, uh, working on some statistics problems in central tendency. Uh, the next one I have to deal with is a geometric mean. This is a measure of central tendency you don't see a lot. So I was kind of surprised it was in my homework, but nonetheless, let's, let's take a look. So in my homework assignment, I have 10 values. Uh, I do use a statistics program for helping solve these things I found online called cram101.com. It actually makes it real easy because everything is very formatted and ready to go. So let's go to CRAM 101. Uh, this is the menu for statistics. Uh, distribution, central tendency. Here we are, geometric mean. Okay, so we'll click on geometric mean. And the first thing uh, they ask for is the number of data points in our distribution. And the homework assignment, I have 10. So we'll select 10. Uh, the next thing to do is either enter random data, fixed data that they provide. Uh, we're just going to jump in and put in our homework assignment. So 69 is the first value, uh, 64, 50, 8, 84, 8, 35, 91, 58, and 8. Okay. The next thing uh, we have here uh, in our task. Uh, CRAM allows us to have an optional plot, and for me, you know, I, I like to have the plot because I can actually see the distribution and what the, the values mean. So we're going to do that. And the first thing you'd want to do is to order the data uh, numerically. So it's now in numerical order from 8 to 91. Uh, again, this is optional, but we need to pick a number of intervals. The number of intervals is basically taking our, our 10 scores and putting them into smaller buckets so that we can get a better feeling of you know, how the distribution acts as a whole. Uh, it's an arbitrary level. We're going to pick five. Uh, the upper limit of the distribution, 91. Uh, the lower limit would be eight. There's an eight. And then the range of the distribution, 83, which is basically taking eight from 91, uh, getting 83. If you get the interval width or size, you take the 83, divide it by five, and then round up. So the width of each interval would be 17. Okay, so here are five intervals, uh, 7.5 to 24.5. We have a width of 17. Each of the intervals uh, have been subtracted by 0.5 so that we ensure that each score uh, in the distribution will only fit into one interval or the other. Uh, you can't have an overlap. So the next step to do in our plot would be then to create a frequency. So what we're doing now is taking 7.5, 24.5, that interval, and finding the number of scores that fit into it. Uh, and so we have uh, three scores that fit, and that's what we have here, three. So when we proceed that with each interval doing exactly the same thing. So we have three, one, two, two, two. Those are our uh, frequencies for the various intervals. Uh, and now calculating the geometric mean. Uh, it's nice, they, they give you the formula and everything here. So basically it's taking each score in the distribution multiplying it times each other, and then taking it uh, to the power of 1 divided by n. So we have this really big number uh, taken by 1 divided by 10. The value is 33.45. And what's really helpful in trying to understand what 33.5 means is you take a histogram, or you can take the polygon, whichever you like. They provide both. And you can see uh, that the 33.45 uh, falls about here, which is the midpoint of the second interval, uh, which gives you an idea of what the geometric mean would be. All right, that's it. Thank you.